Hey, welcome back to Dorian Oil Woodworking. So we're fixing to surface the spool board on my Onefinity Woodworker CNC. Uh, just did the video on programming the file to run this. And my goal here, of course, was to widen my spool board out a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get started and we'll run the program. And then I'll show you how this thing's going to end up being bigger than what the cut surface is. So we're going to go ahead and hit home machine. Okay, so now we've homed, we're going to come in. I'm not going to do it yet because I have to, I'm going to move out and, and I'm going to probe Z. I'm not going to probe X and Y because I want it to start in this home position. So I need it to cut all the way around. So I'm not going to do that yet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move inside on the surface a little bit. Just enough so I can get my Z probe on there. Okay, and so we'll get in here and then I'm going to... Uh, probe for Z. Okay, so I've got my Z probe here. So we're just gonna sit that underneath the bit and I've got my dust boot moved up out of the way. Put the magnet on the collet and we'll use our joystick here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to lower this down some to clear that where it's got enough room for the bit to get down in there. So we just want to come down here and get close to our close to our our box. And then over on the the computer, it just asks me to touch the probe to it. Okay, it's it read that, so it says continue now. So then we're going to go ahead go ahead and hit continue, and it's going to probe Z. It's going to go down and touch it twice. There's once. Touches it again real slow and then comes up. Okay, so now we have Z probed. We can take this off and we can go ahead and drop our dust boot down. Okay, so we got the dust boot ready to go. So we're going to go back to the machine or to the controller and we'll get our uh, X and Y probed or zeroed out anyway. Okay, so we're back on our machine now and we hit that. So we've done the Z probe. So now all we have to do is go all the way back to zero. Because right here, we, we started at zero. I moved it to do my Z probe. So I'm just gonna keep moving this arrow back over till I'm at zero, zero, my X, Y. Okay, I don't know what that's doing, okay. So it's zero, zero, and we're zeroed out here on our Z already. So we just hit that and that. So we're zeroed out on everything now. So we're pretty much ready to run this thing. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna load my file. That's an old file in there. So we want the profile bit first. So we're gonna select that one. We're gonna hit play and it's going to ask us when the spindle is up so I'm going to get my uh, dust collection system turned on and then we'll hit that and go. Looking at that, it, it, it didn't take a whole lot off in the back. It took quite a bit off here in the front. So my table is definitely off some. So, uh, so we're ready. All we have to do now is, I'll go ahead and go back to the computer screen. We don't have to change anything here. That pass is done. So we go back into our G code and we look at it, get our raster file and get that opened. And we hit play. So I'll get the dust collection turned on, I'll turn the router on, and I'll hit continue, and it should run our raster.
Okay, so I have the spool board program ran. Uh, everything's surfaced off. I've got a few ridges in here, so I obviously need to do a little bit of tramming on the machine, but that was to be expected. So I'll tram it and I'll rerun this. Uh, I was just going to show you. Have, you probably you just kind of have to take my word for it. You won't be able to see it that well, but I'm measuring across my cut surface, and I've got 33 and a quarter, and my actual machine limits were 32 and an eighth. So I got an inch and an eighth extra on my width on here. And then the depth is not quite as much. I've already measured this once. The depth is not quite as much. It's uh, 32 and three quarters, which is supposed to be 32 and an eighth. The only thing I really cared about with the depth is that I wanted to get this front cleared off. That way, if I wanna, so if I wanna do a long job and I wanna sit it where the job's gonna hang out over then I can do that without having one of these lips on here. That was my main thing. I just wanted to get it off the front of the board. So that's perfect. So anyway, uh, I'd have another video. I'll post a link up here at the top if you want to watch it on how I designed the spool board program. So if you want to go watch that, I'd appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.